Hello, it's me Jefferson. Today is August 21st, 2018, and the timeline is almost 11, sorry, 10.30 p.m. So, um, I just got back from a dinner with my friend, one of my friends, actually Joe's friends. She came back and just gave me my birthday gift, which is the back. You can see it. And it's from Joe. And also Nicole, two of them, and thank you so much for the kids, and also my cousin gave me this, oh wait, here we do, small pillow and stuff, it's really cute, so I just use it to stabilize my camera, anyway, Thank you for that, and um, my birthday is going to come soon, so I'm not sure you what is my wish for this year. I never wish though. Anyway, so um, I just came back from dinner, because Joe, I think Joe is working today, so she couldn't come back, and the um, friend, which is also my friend, Nicole, came and passed the bag to me. And we sort of have a dinner together. Um, we have Nyonya food, which I actually owe her one because I told her I will treat her uh, the Nyonya food, and I did it. And it was great anyway. It's just a uh, chill, casual stuff. And yeah. Um, so, what else? Uh, let me just take a deep breath. Okay, good. So, at work actually, because, oh, also yesterday, because I didn't do my blog because I was actually, I went out with someone, and that's why I came back late, and um, I don't know, it's a cool guy, but it's great, but uh, sometimes, you know, um, especially when I have, like, Koro, what was Carophobia. Is that is that a term? Carophobia where I I'm scared of happiness. So when things happen too fast and too great, then I think it's not going to happen. So yeah. Although I like the guy, seriously, he's really cool, really nice. But at the same time I know I shouldn't put too much effort on that. Just let it flow like I used to be. So anyway, um, that's the reason why I did not do my vlog yesterday. And basically yesterday I was having MC because I was sick and probably tired of work, just don't want to go to work or something. I hate my job actually, <laughs> like I always. But anyway, um, I still can cope with it and then hopefully I can just at least survive until December, hopefully. When I say it, I don't know. I don't know whether I can cope with it or not and also lately I've been thinking a lot getting a lot of emotions and a lot of um, decisions, not to say decisions a lot of um, ideas and um, I don't know I just feel emotional and yeah so um so Yesterday I didn't work, and today I work. I basically there's nothing because I still feel I slept late. Honestly, I figured about it, but anyway, I slept late. But um, I'm glad that I still, uh, I was still able to finish my task. And tomorrow I'll be single handle both my work and my colleagues' work because our management need one of us to have off tomorrow because on the other day. Um, since I will be taking the off day on 31st, which is the national day, so tomorrow I will be off. Something like that. You get it. It's okay. I get it. So anyway, um, yeah, so just bored. Like I keep saying, it's really boring. And I still don't know what to do. Probably this is like my life. So far. I'll be ending up with this. You know what? It's really sad 
to have this kind of life. You know, sometimes I feel like I really hope to get myself a man and probably just marry and just, you know, have our own little family, just do some small business and stuff and just survive. That's it. But I don't think that is my life because first, it's really hard to find a man. Second, this is a leisure. But I have too much hold back. I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of worries. So that's why I cannot surpass all this. I have to surpass all this, probably. And maybe in future I will have my what I want. I don't know because life is really tricky. Every thought you have, you will not happen. So that's the reason why I keep telling myself to be going with the flow, or just don't need to think a lot, even though I'm still thinking a lot. <laughs> that is me. I can't help it.、Um, yeah. So yeah, this is really. Sometimes you know, right? You know you are caught up into something. You are in some contemplations, but you just don't know what you sh- you should think about because there's a lot in your mind. You you just know how to、um, cope with it, like how to organize your thoughts and how to、um, separate the thoughts so that you you can manage them and organize them. And yeah, that's the thing. You know, I mean when. That's the reason why I feel I'm like having some sort of bipolar because at one moment I feel really, really excited and everything in my mind I can just zoom. That's it. I'll find a reason to cope with it. But on the other side, when I'm in this kind of mood, like emotional and thoughtful, in a very extreme way, I guess, <laughs> then I just really don't know how to cope with it because I really want to. The more I want to get rid of it. The more they came, the more they come. Though, it's really hard for me to cope with this sometimes. So that's why I try to make it as an inspiration of my music. And the thing is, music is also another part of my、um, life. And sometimes when I force myself to use force this energy, this negativity, into my inspirations, it won't happen. So. In the end of the story, I still have to go with the flow. That's the thing. So, yeah, I just know I I know I should go with the flow and stuff and blah. But sometimes you get feel you feel a, a a little bit bored, you know, like like you know something, but the thing won't happen. You know, you get it. Like you maybe you think that that kind of logic, that kind of thing is actually very logical. It will happen, but somehow there's a voice inside you to tell you, even though it's possible. But in fact, it won't happen because you think of it. So that tiny little thought can actually affect something. You know, like when I say affect, it's not like it will come or whatever. It's like it never come, but it just come with different things. That's the thing. I guess that's why life is so challenging and so called exciting. Probably I'm not in the mood right now, so that's why it's not really exciting for me. Anyway, I really hope to have. A, I mean, at least have a relationship before I die. You know, just to try how it feels that both individuals meet each other and. So have a very wonderful chemistries, and the kindness, the emotions, all this up and downs. I really want to feel it, but the thing is, I have to let down of my guard, which is really hard to do because I am very super, very fucking um guarded person because I don't trust people easily, especially when I. Maybe I'm smart at one point, and also I 
have few experience before, so they sort of like taught me how to be more smart, be smarter, be got it, and take it to myself. The worst part is now I think I'm really good at、um, handling myself and taking care of myself. So it's really hard for me to, you know, touch with other persons or other men, even though I think he could be the possible booty, or he could be the man that I want. But it just can't, you know. Like anyway, <laughs> that's still just a dream.、Um, come out of reality, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be handed to、um, commuters and. Hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, everything should be fine. If let's say things happen, I'll just like okay, whatever. I don't care because I really don't care. Those things I care a lot. It won't come, and sometimes turn to a different kind of things, which I feel speechless at one point. I mean, I wouldn't feel annoyed, but I feel speechless. Speechless. I used to feel annoyed because when you you know. You 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 are so sure about the thing, everything everything you have worked out already, but eventually it won't come. If you really really sad, you know. Now at least I feel numb, or in a nicer way we call it neutral. So yeah.、Um, let's see, let's see what will happen tomorrow. So good night for now.